Hey guys, welcome to another video exploring the very beautiful Serbia. Yeah, I am Philly, this is Keely, and this is our pet fly. This is our van Martha. <laughs> For the last six months, we have traveled from Ireland right across Europe to where we are right now, which is the very beautiful Serbia. It wasn't always easy on the way. We've definitely had quite a lot of issues. I sound like I know what I'm doing. Bye Martha, served as well. And the borders haven't been good either. Uh, if we don't have it, if we can't find it. Big. But we are so grateful to be here and fall in love with this beautiful country. So let's see what more Serbia has to offer. Let's go. Let's go. Good morning. Look at this one folding her clothes. Excuse me, clothes are the only thing I actually keep tidy in this one. Excuse me, they usually live under your pillow. Pants there today. <laughs> we are in a town called Novi Pazar. Novi Pazar, and apparently in this town there is a, a church that is the oldest church in Serbia. So One of the oldest churches in Serbia. And we parked up like literally right outside it. Church, eh? Heard people are dying to get in here. Oh my word, yay. Yeah. As this is one of the like most oldest churches. Most oldest? As this is this one is of the, the oldest old churches the most oldest in church. Serbia. From what we gather, uh, a lot of these graves are ridiculously old and there's ones that even predate this time so as you can see like these are mostly crosses these are the more recent tombstones which are obviously flipping ancient by the looks of it and there's apparently really old ones which instead of a cross they look like a what did it say a cage with a human head in it oh i have to see that but i don't know where that is and did it say that some of them predate the fourth century so apparently this church, they think, goes all the way back to the 4th century. Well, it says here, look. So, I'm assuming that was, it was built in 1196 and then it was restored in 1996? No, 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 it's way old, isn't that? 11 would be, that's the 12th century. The 12th century oh, was it? some prince person or something. Some prince was baptised here in the 12th century. It was restored in the 17th. Is this when it was built? Or something. They think it goes back to the 4th, but it's definitely written about in the 9th. It's hundreds of years older than... 1196 apparently what well, is this seven is this seven five two that would be the eighth century wouldn't it i mean i have no idea what that thing is you're stroking <laughs> Apparently this is also an archaeological site and that they have found Greek sculptures and like ancient pottery or something, I don't know, but they have found stuff. This is a historical site, <laughs> okay? This knowledge just baffles me. Uh, Who are you? You're like a walking <laughs> encyclopedia. <laughs> oh sweet GoPro, tell me what you see. Treasure? This door? Is this the original door? That's insane. So I noticed last night we have a headlight out. I don't have a spare bulb because our other headlight died like two weeks ago. So that's something that's on the agenda for, for today. It's all part and parcel of van life, baby. So we got to this auto parts store whoop, 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 whoop. and uh, the guy came out to the van and started speaking English just straight away saying if we needed any help or anything. That was so nice, that took away any sort of language barrier. I know, Are instantly. Are we trying to act out what a headlight bulb is? <laughs> oh yeah. Baby. So we're heading to our next spot and now we're heading down further south. Probably going to be some pretty rough roads. We're driving towards this 
Kurna Reka Monastery. Definitely saying that wrong, I have no idea how to say it. On the internet, from what I can gather, it's a three kilometer uphill walk to it, but I don't know if it's a walk or if it's a road. So we'll see, we might need to hike to this, we're not sure. she is little miss poopy pants feeling empty <laughs> <laughs> when you see public toilets you gotta make you gotta use of go, them yeah. gotta take advantage of the old public lavatories i wanted to bring snacks let it be known he said that he didn't think we needed them so if i get hangry we all know who's to blame we literally just ate it was like two hours ago it was an hour ago it feels like a year ago <laughs> I'm sure you don't want me to just grab biscuits i'm okay Right, okay. I'm not planning to spend uh, like three years up here, you know. Okay, you never know. Maybe you'll become a monk. I'll Maybe I will. You to it. I'm so waterproof. <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> right, come on, you. Look at this handsome guy. <laughs> Let's go. Is this it? Must be, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's built into the side of the cave. It's pretty hot. Kelly's out of breath. We've walked at about 100 meters. I ran back to the camera. <laughs> like built into the side of this cliff. Yeah. Let's go have a look. But people live here. I think this is a real monastery. This is lovely. This is a new part of the building. Is it like rooms? And this, um, I'm gonna say from my memory is 14th century, but I don't actually know, so I'll pop up the proper date on the top. And it's like properly still used and stuff. Let me see it. So from what I read, they think that in the past this here walkway used to be like removable or movable to make it impossible to attack the monastery from the ground. So if you look down here. Wow, I'm also like your knowledge about this. So is this is obviously built up and you can see it's like on stilts and stuff in the different platforms. And it was intentional to make it that people couldn't like get into it to attack it. But now we can walk over to it with this. But like Philly said, we think it's shut. But let's go see. Go for it. Okay, just FYI. If we're being really rude and disrespectful and walking into somewhere we're not meant to, I'm genuinely sorry, I don't know. But it looks like tourists are allowed in here, but it also looks like it's shut. So I'm gonna push the door and see if it opens right. How crazy. <laughs> that was really heavy, but it opened. I think we're allowed in. Go right? for it. I'm gonna get done for breaking and entering into a monastery. I think we're allowed in. <laughs> Let's go. There's flipping no one here by the looks of it, but if we walk in on a prayer, we're all bolting out of here. Speak for yourself. I'm gonna get my prayer on. It looks like a museum. Yeah. You know? This is it's like an in this monastery, like there's monks that live here. said that the church part of it was inside, like set actually fully in the cave. So I think this must be their proper churchy section. Okay, I feel better. You must be allowed here because you can pay to light a candle. We're allowed or else they make monks pay for their own candles. I didn't bring my wallet. What does that say? Oh, that's 
scary looking up there. It looks like Gollum or something's gonna come out. Like, this is just a key of. The cool thing is, I mean, there ain't no one else here. So I almost feel like I'm violating a really sacred space, but it does look like tourists are allowed in here. But how sick is it that we have this place totally to ourselves? I'm gonna continue whispering because I just feel like it's respectful to do so. But flipping it, this place is cool. I'm gonna go push on this door. Well, I... This looks like the church. This is the church. Go for it. Okay, like I looked, uh, you know, there were no signs or anything saying no cameras. There was no signs saying no entry. I'm not sure if we were actually allowed in there. So I'm really, really, really sorry for not all the Serbians out there watching us. Please let us know. I tried to be quiet and respectful. And uh, yeah, that place felt like flipping sacred or something, didn't it? Like it was so quiet and mm. so... Now it's tainted and they're gonna be after us. That was, that was flipping cool. That was really cool. This building is insane as well. So obviously we didn't go out into any of these walkways. There were places where there were like curtains and doors that looked like they were shut. So if a door looked shut, we didn't try it. We also didn't come all this way to not go in. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah, for, like for all we know, uh, you guys are going to be in the chat like, what are you talking about? You can like sit in the beds and everything. Like, we don't know, but we're trying to be respectful, so. Wow. Flippin' cool, eh? Like, I just don't even understand the physics of how the... Because you seen when we were in there, we were inside a cave where the church was, which was kind of like up and back a bit. Yeah. Um, but like, how does this stuff come out from... Like, just how? How, <laughs> how, does, how does this exist? That's, that's proper normal rock formation down here. But then how have they just known to start building these bricks here? I don't get it. Like, this could be the start of a horror movie called The Monastery. Oh my word. Is this going to be your running joke now? <laughs> do you want to tell them what you almost just did? I didn't do anything. See the way that bell's slightly vibrating? There's a switch beside it. Turns out it's electronic. And he turned the switch and it started to move. Thankfully he quickly turned it off before the bell started ringing. Look. That'd be the epitome of flipping I'm just, disrespect. I'm curious, okay. <laughs> oh, Philly sees this switch, he just has to flip it. <laughs> <laughs> but I wonder where they, where they all were. Maybe they're on a walk or something, I don't know. I, I don't know if anyone was in the bedroom, because as soon as I realised there were beds and that one of them had clothes on, I was like, uh-oh, I'm out of here. Do monks not hibernate over the winter? Can you not make jokes that people might find offensive? Let's have a walk up here. the van how can I see you? I thought anybody with any wit would like stand a step away from the van. I did it the last second okay. Are you serious? <laughs> So we just got pulled over by the police about the headlight 
Um, thankfully, Phil was able to whip this out and be like, I literally just bought it. I'm just trying to find somewhere to fit it. So the guy waved us on and it was all good. Well, we're gonna wait until we got to the next spot, but we decided let's just fit it now and we'll pull over. And here, it's not a bad view. Let's see how long it takes me to fit a light bulb. Sadly, it's in the driver's side and in these vans, the driver's side has loads of crap uh, in around it. I have to take the headlight out to access the back of it. Let's fit this bulb. Note to self, put your tools somewhere more accessible. Now to put it all back together. It's done. It's done, baby. Get excited with me right now. We find in Lidl's the closest thing to normal tea. Thank you, Lidl Serbia. First one since we've been abroad. It ain't no PG tips. It's no Nambari. It's no Panjana. But I can put milk in it and it tastes like a cup of tea, so that's pretty good. Making my boo downtown. Uh, I'm just letting them get the full effect of my s sexual tea. Okay, well, just look. This is the perfect color of tea. Mwah. Okay, bye. <laughs> now that we're legal, let's get back on the road. So as we drive off into the mountains, we're aware that this country has so much more to see, and we just wish we had more time here. But make sure you join us next week where we're going to check out some hot springs, see what climbing Serbia has to offer, and just enjoy our last few days in this beautiful country. If you've enjoyed any of our videos, please consider subscribing. It really helps us. See you next week.